Hello! To begin writing C and C++ programs, the first thing to do is point your browser to www.codeblocks.org. Once there, click on Downloads. Click on Download the Binary Release. Then look for the release that has both CodeBlocks and MinGW together and choose one of the download sources. Save that file. And when the download completes, go to where the file was saved. Click on the install program you just downloaded. When that comes up, click Next on the first screen. Click I Agree on the next. And then you'll be taken to a place where you can pick Install Components, including plugins. While not strictly necessary, plugins add a layer of functionality that is often desirable. If you're adventurous, install them all and try them out. My favorites are the games, the dev pack, the coders, and the snippets plugins. When you've had a chance to look those over, go ahead and click Next. You can choose where CodeBlocks installs. By default, it wants to install in C colon slash program file slash CodeBlocks, but that might cause you problems later, so get rid of the program files and just install it in C colon slash CodeBlocks. When the installation is finished, go ahead, run code blocks. While that starts up, I'm going to close the installer in this directory. The first thing code blocks is going to ask is if you want to associate it with C and C++ files. Make your choice and click OK. Now we're going to make your first program. You can start here by clicking Create New Project, or you can click on the new icon and choose Project, or under the menu you can choose File New Project, all of which will bring you to this point. Double click on the console application icon. Click Next, choose C for our language and click Next, and name your project. Since this is our first program, we're going to call it Hello. CodeBlocks generates all the files and directories to organize your project in automatically. And there's your first program. No, really. In the management window on the left under the project view, expand the sources and double click on the main.c file. See, they've already written code for you. Hello world is all done. All you need to do is click on the build and run file and it should not wait. Look at the messages window down here. Something went wrong. My installation didn't install code blocks properly. Well, I can fix that easy enough by going up to settings, click on compiler and debugger, and on the right there, Click on the button that says Reset Default. It's going to ask me twice if I want to reset the defaults. Once that's done, my compiler should be set up correctly. You should only ever have to do that once, if ever. Click on Build and Run again. There's Hello World. Congratulations, your first program. Well, not your first program, because you didn't really do anything. So let's do something to this program to make it our own. Inside the quotes where it says Hello World, I'm adding the line, I'm a master coder. Now when I click build and run, my Hello World program says, Hello World, I'm a master coder. Congratulations, you've written your first program.